Hi there and welcome to a new video. And yesterday we had a new post uh, by uh, Godot, as you can see, 16 hours ago when they hadn't been posting since October the uh, 3rd. So yes, indeed, more than um, one month without posting anything. And also the justification that they give uh, for this uh, is quite interesting, okay? They are not like apologizing again for what happened about the drama or anything like that, they are just justifying it uh, quite differently, uh, but well, at least we have a new version. So in this video, we will be checking both this new version and we are going to just um, be also talking quite briefly about all the drama. So actually, let's start off with the drama because some of you may not know uh, what had happened. So if you go here to the Twitter, I hope that the post is uh, still here okay, and, and hasn't been deleted. Here it is. So uh, they posted this and the problem itself wasn't really uh, about this post, even though there were people that uh, were annoyed by this post. The, the biggest problem was the fact that there were a lot of people that were banned, blocked from their official Twitter, even from their official GitHub for expressing here different opinions or even some people uh, said that they were banned for commenting nothing bad about the engine or about this post. So while well, everything uh, started to be quite a mess, for some people, this meant nothing, and for others, this really um, meant or actually means a, a lot. Um, so, well, just something for you to take into account. And, well, even worse, this was uh, September 27th. If we, like, uh, go up a little bit, three days later, they post this kind of apology uh, that well wasn't like an apology they were just trying to wash uh, out their hands a little bit uh, this is what many people believe so well yes you can pause the video here and here to just read a little bit more if you want and well since uh, september 3rd um yes 13th uh well we got here some progress on xr um and more stuff and even in the middle of all this like a new version of Godot was released but well since this post once again October 3rd we didn't have anything um uh, here they suddenly posted without uh, like without any announcement a, a new game featured and finally here brand new version at the exact same time as you can see both 16 hours ago we can see the hour like on my local time 3 3 56 p.m and here 4 uh, 14 p.m so indeed both were like um, quite at the same time and here basically they are saying that this slight delay was due to go.con and the yearly contributor meeting um so well this is the justification that they give for well not having any updates in twitter or even in the engine itself for more than a month anyway you can think whatever you want about this this can be like a real reason something that is understandable or something that they are just trying like to to continue hiding that they were discussing about the drama and they were just uh, waiting for uh, some time until everything like calmed down and also by the way they didn't uh, speak again uh, about uh, all the drama they didn't apologize again, again or anything like that so maybe that's uh, what other people was expect were expecting uh, but well anyway that's what we have and here have the release page okay out 4.4 of the 4 and we are going to be checking the the most interesting things right now and well actually here we have more information about the delay basically some of the or they say many of their developers uh, they went for the go.com in germany um and they also had the yearly go.com contributor meeting so well they were spending a lot of time there and they couldn't actually dedicate a lot of time to the uh, engine itself once again, feel free to think what you want and you can comment it out respectfully, please, in the comments down below. Oh, well, maybe they do say here something that uh, they, they were two days there discussing some of the biggest technical challenges and battling out solutions. But well, I believe that all the drama wasn't a technical challenge. Maybe with technical challenge, they mean like actual new features in the engine or something like that. So they, I don't think that they are really referring to the drama or anything like that. So let's go to the highlights of this version. First, you have the interactive in-game editing. So this is one of the most uh, requested features by far. So maybe as this is something that people have been asking a lot for. Well, 
Uh, one critic that was made to go was the fact that maybe they weren't listening too much to the community, to the features that they were requesting. So, well, this is a huge game changer for a lot of people. Then we'll actually like check it out more in depth in Godot because maybe here we can see like a lot of things like changing the scene at runtime or anything like that. We can see that uh, here some nodes are being selected and in the inspector the properties are being opened up. But well, the person here is not like modifying the position, the scale, etc. Uh, so we'll see that. Now we also have uh, object snappy for placing for placing 3D objects in the editor. So now. Um, they, now the 3D objects will have a raycast, basically collision detection. Uh, so this will help position 3D objects much easier. So see there how he's able to position this box in, in this thing over here and then on the floor. Everything is snapped nicely, so it is much easier. Now there are even more stuff over here and also in the and more section. But so as you can see, there are a lot of things that hey, we wouldn't be able to actually check in just one video. So that was the most important feature, I believe. So let me just go ahead and download the Windows version just here with you. I will open up this zip file. And here I've got it. I will open up the application. And in a second, here we have, this is the magic of Godot of <laughs> opening up new stuff in just, uh, opening a new version in just three seconds. So I will go ahead and create a brand new, uh, this is 4.4 dev 4, the fortified node. And I will put in some my downloads. Oh, what's happening here? Downloads. And yeah, there we go. Create and edit. And let's now give it just a second. So here we are. Um. So yes, now we see this new window game. So just for testing, okay, I will create a brand new 3D scene over here. I will name it main and I'm going to save it right there. Then uh, let's add, I will just go ahead here and add uh, a new cube or, or literally any shape. I don't really care. A box over there and uh, I will add the environment to the scene right there. And let me also add here a camera 3D. Okay, so let me just move this camera right over here. Yes, and let me move it up by a little bit and maybe a little bit more. And I should also rotate down a little bit the camera. Okay, I think that there is more than enough. So, um, we have here the game window, as you can see right now, we don't have anything, but if we click here, play. Okay, I'm going to select this one as my main scene, as it is the only one that I have. Let's see. Okay, so here I have the, the usual, like, game window. Um, So let's see here, I have here input to the 3D. Uh, okay, yes, but right now I can't see here my game. So I don't know if... I have like to pause here or anything like that. Nope. But well, if I just click the cube here, I have selected it and I didn't like touch anything here really. Um, so yes, now I have here my cube. So I can't like right now move it over here in the editor or anything like that. Um, or if I enable their input, let's see if I got anything new. I don't have anything. So. Okay, so here, yes, I have selected here my cube, and the good thing is that I can go I don't know, to position and move it a little bit there. But yes, right now, it is, it, this just allows you to, like, uh, use uh, or, well, select the object and move it over here. I, I wish there were, like, more information about what these buttons do over here. Oh, okay, so basically here, this disables the game input, so you can not like move the player with the keys, I suppose. And it will allow you to only select uh, nodes related to the 2D environment, such as node to this controls and manipulate the 2D camera. And 3D is the same thing, but uh, with 3D. And then input, that's basically just is listening to the game input. Um, then we also have this that toggles the selection visibility. So I, I suppose that if I have this selected, let me go to 3D. 
there I've got it and I turn this off uh, or I don't think I think that it is actually that kind of red box that appeared yes it is that red box now as you can see I have this object selected but I don't anymore see that box and now I do uh, and then these last options this is the select mode to just select any kind of node and um, show list of selectable nodes at position click so let's try this I don't know if this is going to print the positions here or something like that I don't know this is not changing anything so I don't really know and lastly uh, well we don't have anything more I think so yes of course it's just like the first version there are lots of things uh, that that should be modified in order for this to work something else that maybe I would like to to try to work to to try but I don't think that it will uh, it's for example going over here if I change this in local I suppose that this shouldn't be changing like in the game itself so I will for example lift up a little bit this oh okay yes this is working so yes this is the, the main thing so for example I would put the like right there and this is taking effect here so yes they, they wanted to actually be able to dock this inside of Godot to make the process a little bit easier uh, as in Unity, for example, that maybe you have the scene view over here and the game view over here. Um, but well, yes, this is the the, the main new thing, okay? Uh, so it is quite good. And if I change it in remote, it's the same thing. Yes, and in remote, it's the exact same thing. So well, uh, there we have it. Now in the in the, they said that in the next versions, they will actually be able to like dock this game window right here as in Unity. Uh, so it is even easier. So well, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below and see you in the next one. Bye bye.